Hello everybody. Unus Anus. Unus Anus. I didn't even get to talk about that on the show. Oh my god, is this really a boss? Oh my god. This is amazing. Gameplay! I'm just kicking him in the nutsack until he dies. This is awesome. <laughs> Why would I not keep this? Oh crap, he smushed me. Yeah, take this, bitch. Out of the ring. I didn't even get to use my ability. Wow. Took me 40 seconds to kill the first boss. What a great game. Congratulations, the signature move Mirror Mirror has been unlocked. <clears throat> I totally forgot he could do that too. All I remember is that he turned into Ricochet's Pulverizing Pinball! And then he'd crash into you like a bowling ball. You shouldn't be wasting your time. If you don't find that book, the headmistress will have you expelled, and that's just not right. Who would have stolen the official code of the mass wrestling? It's just not buena. Maybe we should look in my backpack. I found stranger things in there before. Oh, ro ro ro. So now I th oh, I have new enemies. I got an evil lunchbox. Take this, evil lunchbox. Take this. I'm gonna destroy my Super Nintendo controller by playing Mucha Lucha. Another evil lunchbox. Take this, evil lunchbox. I was expecting Family Guy to do a joke about Unus Anus. Unus Anus. This is worse than the time I was in one butthole. This is me, Peter Briffin, for Unus Anus. I'm actually punching him, he's not blocking. Take this. Yeah. This is too easy to barrel. Oh crap. Why are they dodging my shit? I am having a lot of fun. Or is it an evil backpack? Is that an episode? Chicken leg. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chillin' with my homies. That was a song way before TikTok, you d degenerate bitches. I remember in freaking Clip Note, not Clip Note, Flip Note Studios on the on the DS. Like that was a thing, you just animate that freaking song. Chicken wing, chicken wing, butts and pineapples. Not the one you're thinking about, you degenerate. That's the word of the day. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge, nice kill. Overkill. Kill him in Jara. Also, the theme song of Mucha Lucha kicks ass. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it is on Spotify and Apple Play, and it's on the internet. Ooh, he's got a spear. Here, bitch. Why are you... These enemies, it's just pointless to throw anything at them. Oh my god, secret door. Oh, really? A secret door with an enemy? I... Okay, an enemy and a health. I mean, at least there's cool secret walls. But yeah, the theme song for Mucha Lucha is great. It's uh, Mucha Lucha by Chico Stel Barrio. And it's way longer than just the version that played in the, th in the theme song. It's a way of life, mucha lucha, mucha lucha. It's a way of life. Don't make me walk back into that zone, Tan. Take this. Yeah, these evil backpacks are pushovers compared to the students. There we go, another evil backpack is dead. There has to be an episode that I just don't remember, is the evil backpack people. <laughs> What's that? The TV people. Oh, yes, he had a spin-off. He's still Joey, but eh. My brother and I have been watching through Family Guy, and I really hate how weird, like, ugh, that show devolved so quick. My brother thinks there's three eras of Family Guy, and I think, I think he's about right. But 
there's so many time fillers in like later series. Can I pick this up? I can't pick up the spiky wood. Ah! Okay, the enemies can pick up weapons, but I can't. Got it. Take fist. Feet even. Okay, the, the punching is way quicker and way more powerful. But kicking is fun. Oh, kicking. I want to do some kicking. Oh, I guess it's just A and B. I wasted my screen wipe. That's fine. Yes! I landed a barrel! Take this, you bitch. Barrel blast! Hold up to go fast. Oh, I love when things are in the foreground. I can still tell what's going on. I'm beating up this murder backpack. Take this. Come here, other murder backpack. Come to my level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Yeah, why would I do any of these special moves, like that heel drop there, when I could just slap bitches? Look at that. Way more effective. It's super effective. Yeah. Oh, and I got a donut. Oh, the floor spikes do hurt. But yeah, so long story short, I, what I like doing is devolving Family Guy jokes with my friends, and it's so funny to do that. I think it makes it like 50 times funnier. I need to work on the lyrics to it fully, but it was the stupid Shapoopy song from that one episode when he becomes a New England Patriot and plays American football, and he's like, hey, Hello, actual Tom Brady. I'm better at football than you. And if you guys also don't know, that was that was also my joke, is to just, it, it started out originally when uh, it was uh, the episode when Stewie builds a Peter Rope, well it's not that episode, but it's the one when he's trying to prevent his parents from having another kid, because Lois is like, you almost cut that baby's wiener off, we should have another kid to neglect, and Peter's like, no, and Stewie's trying to ruin it. So it's the part where uh, he's trying to do his universal translator for the robot. And he's like, excellent, ha! Ah! And the robot's like, sweet. And my joke with my friends was that uh, the robot's malfunctioning, so it doesn't do Peter's like laugh correctly. So it's excellent, ha! Ah! Sweet. Ooh, we got boxed. And the funny thing about that is that joke devolved again to just whenever I would do Peter's laugh, I would just go, no. And that makes it funnier. Yeah, I'm kicking your ass across the map. What do you do about it? I'm glad that I found out that you can just hit the B button and win. There you go. One down. You other bitches want some fists? Yeah, you're getting punched way better than your homie there. I'm hoping that the other uh, levels have more unique enemies instead of students and evil backpacks. I hope this isn't the last room, because I still have a pulverizing pinball to use. And Buena Girl turned into a bulldozer. I think that was her special ability. Okay, good. There is more screens. Oh, I remember this bully. Well, guess what, idiot? <laughs> uh, you can literally defeat boss enemies just by, like, doing the insta-kill. It's so stupid. It's stupid! But yeah, I started uh, changing the lyrics of Shapoopy to Shafisis, and I find that way funnier. Oh yeah, the stupid backpacks are like a tribe of people. But yeah, it's like, Griffin, let go. What's that, Tom Brady? Dive into people? Okay. This calls for a seven minute time filler. And a woman who kissed on the first time out is a whore. And this woman who kissed on the second time out is equally a whore. The woman who kissed the third time around, stand me up, foot on the ground. She is a whore. Shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy. The girl who's difficult to obtain. Shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy. And you should break her legs. Pinch her ass when she's not looking. Break her nose, that's fancy cooking. Chloroform her bee for supper, break her legs with a piece of lumber, do re mi fa so la si do si do. No, I made six points in a football game. 
Did it spawn a guy up there? Damn it. Now I can't use my rock. Okay, you're pinned. Take my fists. Shafrisis, Shafrisis, Shafrisis. The girl who's difficult to obtain. Nice. Okay, I feel like I can kill this rock. Yep. Yep. Wow. What the hell is... Is that like a Lucha Sun? That probably happens in the episode too. It's so weird. What a weird show. Guess what? Bower. Oh, I think the blue just maxes out your insta-kill button, but why would I do that when I can save it for the end of the level? Take this, you idiot. Take my fists, you rabid backpack. There's also two Family Guy games. I tried playing the first one on the show a long time ago, but then Fox, like, attacked me pretty much, so that was a weird day. I wish that there was a sprint. Can you double tap? Nope, you can't double tap. Damn. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we got a donut. I'm gonna save that donut. Yeah, that sun really creeps me out. That probably did happen in an episode. I'll have to look up the episode list. I don't think there's a way I can watch Mucha Lucha, is there? Oh, I didn't talk about what I was gonna talk about. Come here, bitch. Uh, my Saturday morning cartoon lineup. I remember from 2001... At least that's the earliest I can remember this. To 2004, I would always wake up way early. Like, I would actually get up early. I wanted to get up early. And what I would do is I would watch Kids WB because they had an exceptional lineup for those years. It was it was uh, Pokemon, a double shot of Pokemon, then Yu-Gi-Oh!, then Teen Titans, then... Come here, bitch. Then, then after, oh crap, he's right on that door too. Uh, then it was Coconut Fred and Mucha Lucha. And if I'm looking back at it, Coconut Fred was terrible. They got poor Rob Paulson to do the voice of Coconut Fred. And like in an interview I saw later, it made perfect sense. It was a ripoff of SpongeBob. That's why I liked it because it was basically SpongeBob. Because it was annoying jerk character and his idiot friends harass a guy and, and to the point of insanity. Yeah, this guy with... He looks like a poodle with his weird hair. Take this poodle man. Poodle man 5000. But yeah, then it was Shaolin Showdown, which is amazing. And believe it or not, uh, Scooby-Doo and Teen... Or not Teen Titans. Well, I already said Teen Titans. And uh, Scooby-Doo and Ninja Turtles. So all those shows kick, but... Wait, let's just do a screen wipe here. Wait. Yeah, I had to make sure they were all on screen. Oh crap, no, I got more bitches. Dude, the bully kid's slapping the crap out of me. But now I'm slapping the crap out of him. Take this, bitch. Take my fists of steel. What if you actually had fists of steel? Dude, how much health do you have? There you go. What's the health bar on this guy? It must be monumental. Take my kicks. Take my punches. Yeah. I'm sensing that this is the end of the level. Yeah, that sound creeps me out. Look at him, he's like, <laughs> Yes, my son. Punch the evil backpacks. Punch them with your feasts. I know, like, a lot of people think, well, and where are there popsicles in the ground? Am I having a fever dream? Is this the second part of this level a fever dream? Again, I haven't seen Mucha Lucha in a long time. But yeah, every single show on the Kids WB lineup that year, I would watch... Like, there wouldn't be a show that I'd be like, no, I don't want to watch it today. Because Pokemon kicks ass and Yu-Gi-Oh! kicks ass. Those always kick ass. And then all those other ones I just got into. And then there was other shows that they would like, weave into the lineup, like Ozzy and Drix and Static Shock and freaking Lunatics Unleashed. Anybody remember that shit? Come here, bully. 
Oh, oh, he still got hit. Good. We're gonna go after the bully first. Come here, bitch. Take this. Or not. I want him to get stuck. There we go. No, stop running away. My health is actually in the yellow. For the first time this whole Let's Play, my health is in the yellow. Okay, let's slow down those punchies. Wait, is this a secret? No. Alright, we got him. There is a Shaolin Showdown game, and I want to play it on the show eventually, and there's... There was a... Uh, three Teen Titans games. I want to play... The first one co-op on the show, or try to play through the second one fully. Okay, are you on screen? There we go. Aw, oh, damn it, that wasn't the end. Aw, oh, damn it, now we're in an even harder section. Okay, at least the bully's not doing anything. He's just looking like an idiot. Take this, bully. Okay, the two evil backpacks are just chilling. They're just letting me beat up this guy up, so I guess that's fine. Oh, now they're swinging at me. Oh, oh, they spotted me. What a great game. This is just designed to break your Game Boy. When did this come out? 03? You could have got a Game Boy SP with this game. But yeah, most of the games I got from that guy are either based on cartoons or they're multi-packs. And I loved, at the end of the Game Boy's life, they did multi-packs. If you guys don't know, it was basically, it looked, it looked like, not illegitimate, not legit, that's the word I'm looking for. And basically what it was, was if a company had games that were a bit older, they would just, figured, they would just release uh, two to four, even four, uh, freaking games on one cartridge. And then when you put it, when you, when you fire it up. It would be like, which one of these games do you want to play? Hmm. And then it would like turn itself off and then turn itself back on. And then when it turned itself back on, it was playing the game you selected. And I got two of them from this guy when I bought this game. Uh, one of them's the Scooby-Doo double pack, which is Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem and Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, the video game. So the 2001 and the 2002 Scooby-Doo games. I don't want the ham. No. No, I don't want to walk over the ham. Okay. Okay, now he's getting beat up. Good. Uh, but yeah, so I got both of those in a single multi-cart. And then the other one is absolutely amazing. And I had no idea this existed. And I also didn't know that there was a lot of versions of it. I had an error. So it wouldn't say one of the correct games. So it was the Nickelodeon 4-pack. And it was, it was Spongebob, Super Sponge. Uh, not Super Sponge. Yeah, Super Sponge. So the first Spongebob game on the GBA. Uh, Rocket Power Zero Gravity Zone. So the first Rocket Power game on the GBA. Uh, Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy, which I did do a Let's Play of a long time ago. And so I'm going to have to sell that cartridge because I got this multi-pack. And then... Even though on the label it says Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown and it did on the box, you actually get Fairly Odd Parents Enter the Cleft, which is the first Fairly Odd Parents game for the GBA. And that is the weirdest thing because I looked into it and they didn't even bother to change the box art or the sticker on your label. It still says uh, Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown, even though you actually get Fairly Odd Parents Enter the Cleft. So I'll have to actually get a copy of Shadow Showdown one of these days. And see how good that is. And I know there was like five or three Fairly Odd Parents games. I'll have to play one of them on the show. I know Break Into Rules, which was the I think the first one. That one, is, if I get the original Xbox version, I can play it on my 360. And then if I get it on the GameCube or PS2, then I can play it like normal. GBA play it like normal. That was a great era. There was always a uh, video game based on cartoons. Like, you would always get just so many of those. What the hell? Okay, now I can kick these guys' asses. <clears throat> Angela's asses. Oh, God, it's getting hot in here. All right, guys, on the next installment. And I still don't have the other idiots. Damn it. I'm going to take a sip real quick. 
Mm. In the next installment of Mucha Lucha Mascaritas of the Lost Code, we're almost halfway through. I know. And we are going to beat some bitches up. Yeah, that's that's funny. I can't I can't pick any of the other bitches. We're almost halfway through. What's gonna happen to Ricochet? You're gonna find out in the next installment of Mucha Lucha. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next popping hot jars. <laughs>